We're so happy you tuned into this live concert from Noontime Concerts. For this performance, we are pleased to present the piano duet of Dr. Gabriela Calderon Cornejo and Astrid Morales Torres. They will play Le Gitano Valse Espanol for Piano for Hands by Meliboni, Branca de Neve e Oseche a Nois, Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs by Ina Machado Sandoval, Wide Open by Carolyn Schubring, Bouquets for Margaret, Five Duets for Piano Four Hands by Ruth Schoenthal, Horopo by Beatrice Lockhart, Three Day Mix by Eleanor Alberga. <laughs> going to warm you up with some wonderful music today and uh, I, uh, since March is International Women's Month we we have actually two concerts that are solely perform solely focused on women women composers and today is one that's very very special um, it is performed as a piano duet by Dr. Gabriela Calderon Cornejo and Astrid Morales Torres and they have done a beautiful job of curating a, uh, a program that is featuring women composers from all over the world. Uh, you, you've got your programs right in front of you, so that uh, you, you've got your programs right in front of you, so that it's very clearly explained there. But it's, it's, it's really exciting to be able to focus on women composers. And Noontime Concerts has, has made it part of our overall series. We, um, in 2019, we started the Women Composers Take Center Stage a uh, series in, as part of our overall programming. So whenever possible, we do try to f include women composers and focus on, them, focus on them like we are doing today, and particularly during International Women's Month. Uh, you know, it's, it's, it, it, I think um, what we have written in our, we have some uh, narrative written in our website, and one of, I think, uh, Carl Blake actually read, had written the uh, program notes there, and, when he mentioned when he mentioned that you know for the uh, amount of knowledge that we might have of all the wonderful music written by women composers it would be just we we probably don't even know a smidgen of all the wonderful composition that is out there so today is going to be very special because i think you're hearing some music that you probably have never heard before and we're very happy to be able to feature it for you uh, a couple of notes before we start just the usual for me if you're here regularly. <laughs> regularly, um, We have the QR codes, <laughs> the fabulous QR codes. The one on the front is to let you donate to this series, which is free to the public every week of the year, but we do actually survive on donations and grants. And so anything you can contribute really does help keep this, pro this program going as we have for 35 years. So you can hover your smartphone over these QR code, over this QR code on the front, and you can make a donation that way. We also have white boxes in the aisles if you want to use cash donations or check donations. And we have um, a little credit card opportunity in this cross aisle here. It's called a dip jar, and we can help you with that if you would like to donate with a credit card. On the back of the program is another uh, QR code, and that works the same way as the one on the front. However, it is for you to be able to access information about today's artists and about the program and anything else Noontime Concerts, because it'll take you right to the website. That is all I have in the way of information for you. I want to make sure that you have plenty of time to enjoy this beautiful program. So with that, I would like to bring Dr. Gabriela Corne Calderon Cornejo and Astrid Morales Torres to the stage. Thank you so much.
Le Gitano, Valse Espagnol for Piano for Hands, Melboni. by women who have been historically underrepresented. Uh, the piece that you just heard is uh, Les Gitanos, which is a Spanish dance written by Mel Bonis. And to give you a little bit of context, uh, Mel Bonis uh, was born in France, and she showed aptitudes for music since she was very young. She was very talented. 
unfortunately her parents were not supportive of these talents and she had to beg them to let her take music classes. So she finally went to school and she was actually accepted in the Conservatory of Paris, which is a very prestigious institution and she was there along with other very famous composers of the era. But her parents said, no, you know, you need to, to get a husband and you need to get a more feminine job. So they arranged a, a marriage with a guy 25 years older than her wow. that already had five kids from a different marriage and then he, she also had three other kids. So she was very busy with her household duties. But in spite of that, she was able to pursue her career with a lot of struggles. She wrote uh, 300 pieces, around 150 for piano. And so this piece is very important. She wrote a lot of waltzes, but these waltz won an award at a composition competition in Paris. And that was such a validating moment for her because after all her struggles, she was able to to be validated and to be recognized for her hard work. And this piece is, um, is from France and it's kind of like the perception of how Parisian people thought of the Spanish culture and how dancey and you know, the, the cover of the piece actually has castanets and people, the like gypsies dancing around the streets of Spain. So it was kind of uh, fun and very, very joyful. And so now we're going to continue with a different piece by Ina Machado. Astrid is going to tell you a little bit about it. Good afternoon, everyone. <clears throat> Thank you so much for joining us today. And now we're getting into Brazilian music. So um, Ina Machado Sandoval, she was a figure in Brazil, but she was not as recognized as other composers, just as probably you have heard about Chiquinha Gonzaga or Ernesto Nazaret, that um, these two composers were probably like some of the most recognized composers of Brazil, but Ina was a pedagogue and a composer. And in fact, in 1997, she was um, recognized as Women of the Year in Brazil, and uh, she composed several works for piano, but this specific um, work that we're about to listen to, that it's um, Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs, then it's a whole set of pieces that you will hear the walls at the very beginning that will introduce Snow White. And then I would like to invite you to see like every single character, how they are related to the music that you're about to listen to. So um, with this, um, Ina, or Tia Ina, on Ina, she was uh, recognized in Brazil. She didn't do this specific work for four hands. She did it as a different set of pieces for piano solo, but her um, niece actually did the arrangement for four hands. So we hope you enjoy about Ina Sandoval and Snow White and the Seven. Branca de Neve e Oseche a Nois, Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs, Ina Machado Sandoval.
coming back from South America here to the United States, we have a composer not so far away. She lives in Arizona, so her name is Caroline Schubin. And she's also, also our younger composer. Um, so she says that she took lessons and music lessons since she was a, a kid, like a very young kid, but it wasn't until middle school that in her own words, she became obsessed with improvisation and with all things music. And so she started her journey and she had composed many pieces for piano and chamber music and voice and piano. And of course the piece for uh, piano for hands that is called Wide Open. And this piece is very special because it describes um, nature. So most of her pieces are inspired by nature imagery or improvisation uh, skills or jazz groups. And so this piece uh, describes a thunderstorm in the summer, which is warm, but at the same time refreshing. And she wrote a description, and I'm gonna read it because I want to say exactly what she said. So she says, I experienced a very special kind of joy while standing outside in the middle of a summer rainstorm. Barefoot, tongues sticking out, dancing, twirling, giggling, and with arms wide open. As the sky opens up, I feel completely free to delight in this childlike joy. This piece is an attempt to capture that incredibly feeling of freedom. I hope you enjoy. Wide open, Carolyn Schubring.
German composer. And we're getting into the composers that are immigrants, just like us. I'm originally from Mexico City, Gabi is from Costa Rica, and now we're um, going to start with a piece of Ruth Chantal, Bouquets for Margaret. And Ruth Chantal, she was born into a Jewish family, and her story is very interesting because they had to leave Germany to go after to Sweden, then they went to Japan, they went to the Soviet Union, and finally she landed in Mexico City. So she's a very dear um, composer for me because um, in so many of my um, solo recitals, I have been passionate about sharing the music of Manuel Maria Ponce, that is one of the most recognized Mexican composers. And Manuel Maria Ponce was the um, uh, composer that kind of like carried Ruth Chantal, and he said like, well, I want to teach you about compositional styles in here. And actually Ruth, she was the one that um, premiered Manuel Maria Ponce's Romantic Piano Concerto. So then um, she lived in Mexico City, and while she was in there, Paul Hindemith, that is another very recognized composer, he listened to her works and he said, you know what, you should come here to the United States. And finally, she went to Yale University. She stayed in there, and um, she has been um, recognized for some of her solo piano works. And this one here, the Bouquets for Margaret, it was a commission piece from the first settlement uh, for Margaret Mills. So Margaret Mills, she's a very recognized uh, pianist in New York City, still living. And here is a little bit of Ruth Chantal and her Bouquets for Margaret. You will listen to distinct flowers and some birds in her. So five duets by Ruth Chantal. Bouquets for Margaret, five duets for piano four hands, Ruth Chantal. Bouquets for Margaret, the pretty flower thinks of the days of her wilting, a bouquet of wildflowers and the butterfly, exotic birds and exotic flowers, daisies, she loves me, she loves me not, she loves me.
Lockhart, and she um, is same thing, same story. She started her um, musical aptitudes in, since she was a kid, and then she had the support of her parents on like Mel Bonis, and it's, she was very talented. That's kind of like the story, right? She was very talented, so she pursued her studies, and then she gained a scholarship to study in Rome. So she went to Rome, and then she went back to Uruguay and was very happy to contribute and give back to her country. But then the political turmoil at the time made her flee to Venezuela. And so she lived there in Venezuela for a long time until she was able to return to Uruguay and then develop her career and being a composer, a teacher. She had so many pieces premiere. She also has a very prolific catalog. And I guess that the most important piece for today <laughs> is called a Joropo. And Joropo is a Venezuelan folk rhythm. So I think that she wrote it as, um, as a gift to Venezuela. And this is a dance. So you see these kind of people with like a flower dresses dancing to folk rhythm. So this is the kind of piece that that is and it's a national emblem in, in Venezuela, so it's a very important thing. And it's gonna fill in three, so the whole time you're gonna hear like one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. It's always gonna be there. But it's also characterized by the rhythmic complexity because of course, like most of Latin America has influence from this African um, heritage and also the Spanish heritage and also the native South American rhythms. So it's a very beautiful mix of all the heritage that we have in Latin America, but at the same time, because she studied in Rome, right, and with the Western European uh, heritage, she has some, some notes that you're gonna hear, we promise we practice, but it's just like, they sound like very dissonant, we call them, but they sound like very, um, how you we call it, like, just, yeah, yeah. Like, like out of place maybe sometimes, but I promise that's how the piece is, and it's very fun. We have a lot of conversations between my part and Astrid's part, so try to listen for that and have fun. Haropo, Beatrice Lockhart, Three Day Mix, Eleanor Alberga.
program. It was a real pleasure being here with all of you. Again, thank you so much for joining us in this celebration for women, played by women as well. And I would like to introduce Eleanor Alberta. She's another living composer. She's originally from Jamaica, and she currently lives in the UK, but probably you have heard her duet because she's married to a violinist um, named Thomas Baus, and then they both come to San Francisco really often and probably you will catch them in some concerts because um, sometimes they will be playing actually her compositions or some of the popular Brahms and all of the um, classical repertoire that we have for violin and piano. But Eleanor um, Alberga, she has been awarded with like all of the most recognized awards in the UK, especially um, one of the latest ones was the Queen's Birthday Honors. And um, this set of pieces, it's uh, three light pieces with a lot of Caribbean heritage. And um, she composed these ones in 1991. And just as the title says, it was composed in three days. So it's a three day mix. Mm -hmm. um, in this piece spe specifically, she will combine some of the Caribbean, um, Jamaican rhythms and folk music. And one of her piano solo pieces, the Jamaican medley, has a little bit of all of these Caribbean rhythms as well. So like these two pieces, sometimes she will perform them in the same recital. And um, it's a very jazzy, but also kind of like in a certain way, minimalistic way for, for this piece. And just in her own words, this piece is supposed to be fun. So then we invite you to have fun with us. Again, thank you so much. Have fun with 3D Mix by Eleanor Albert.
you to the piano duet of Dr. Gabriela Calderon Cornejo and Astrid Morales Torres. Thank you for joining our ever growing virtual community of supporters. We hope you enjoyed this performance and will continue to listen, appreciate, and show your ongoing support for Noontime Concerts. To donate to this series, you can use the QR code on your screen or you can visit noontimeconcerts.org. Thank you.